The family became connected with the Capuchins well before the business. My grandfather used to visit with Father Solanus often, and he would have my father in tow, and that was really kind of the beginning of our relationship with the Capuchins. Dad was a founding member of the Solanus Casey Center here, and he had a lot of events at his Art Van Furniture stores to support the Capuchins. They've been a part of our lives for as long as I can remember. My father believed in the power of hope. He said without it, nothing is possible, and with it, anything is possible. The Capuchins work to give people hope, and so it's a really good fit with our foundation. We just completed a six-year plan to redo the St. Bonaventure Chapel, the Solanus Casey Center, and the surrounding neighborhood, as well as put in a new cafe and the beautiful gardens you see here. Was Dad's simple wish for people who probably after a long journey would be able to come rest, maybe grab a sandwich and a cup of coffee, and honestly just relax in a beautiful, peaceful space. I think it's all turned out exactly to what my father's vision would have been. We continue to stay connected by remembering what our parents taught us because of our good fortune that it's our responsibility to give back. No one can do everything, but everybody can do something. We're going to continue to support the Capetians through the generations. In 1975, the Jacobs family, who owned Buddies, wanted to give back to a community. And so we came up with the Capuchin Soup Kitchen. The Slice for Life is our annual fundraiser. And so the first year that we did it, in 1976, I remember I was a busboy at the time, and we actually donated our tips. And one of the components of this event was that the ticket prices stayed very low because the Cabochins were insistent that everyone could afford to come to this event. And so it was an all you can eat. So you come into Buddy's, you can eat pizza and salad, and then monies would be donated to the Cabochins. It's still going on today. We raised over $4 million in the last 47 years. But our commitment to the Cabochins never wavered. And every year we would bring pizzas to the soup kitchen. We would serve on the line. We had a personal stake in it. I was always impressed with how they operated. Professional, and they treated everyone almost as a guest. And all the different programs that they ran. It was different than the typical soup kitchen, which you're used to seeing people just coming in and eating. They had a full facility. And that was the big thing for us, as you could see the results. And that's why the partnership works. We're very excited about continuing the relationship and also to see how it evolves.